You now feel energized and confident. Give it a go. Make geography great again. Bruh. And for today, I want to bring you a Twitch highlight. I have lots of fun while live on Twitch, and I try to record some big moments, funny moments, whatever it may be. And well, we had quite a laugh doing this hidden achievement. So I wanted to take a bit and show you guys the series of events for this hidden achievement and the funny uh, little bonuses we got. And well, let's just say it took me the entire um, duration. <laughs> I guess, to complete it. It could have been completed much faster, but at least you guys could have a laugh with me and see the correct answer to get this achievement done easily. Actually, there was kind of two achievements in one. Number one, involving Baranya's desk. And number two, involving a certain special globe in that big ol' office. Let's, let's take a watch here, have a laugh with me, and I'll see you guys live on Twitch. Wait, we're messing up her desk? Wait, what are we doing? I had a- I had a good moral, so wait, what? We're just... messing up her desk. And looking at all this stuff- we're spying. We're spying, guys. What's in the closet? We know what happens to closets in this world. Weird shit happens in closets. Do I mean the drawer? Branya's seeing you rem- I mean... We're swooping in Branya's desk when she's standing right there. Apologetic trailblazer badge. <laughs> like, sorry, I wasn't doing anything. I was totally not swooping through your desk, or swooping around, I don't know, your desk when snooping around. Wow, swooping, snooping. We're fine. Words are hard today. She was standing right fucking there, and we're just like, yeah, let's mess up her desk. Logic. Okay, Branya, what's up, girl? Oh, it actually does have an interaction. In front of you is a spherical device that is almost as tall as a person. The amount of dust on it suggests it's not been used for a while. Don't Bellobogians care about geography? This question crosses your mind. However, given that this planet or what this planet has been through. <gasps> no, you're going too fast. <laughs> to Bellobogians, this armillary sphere is an antique plaything. It has no practical use, especially when compared with a map of the administrative district that explicitly depicts the locations of all the shops. Spin the globe! Revive a geography! <laughs> You now feel energized and confident. Give it a go. Make geography great again. Bruh. You eventually pinpoint Bellabog's location on the globe's surface after diligent inspection. Of course, Bellabog is not inscribed anywhere on the surface of the antique armorly sphere. The only reason you can pinpoint the exact location is you've seen. Oh, from. Uh, yeah, I mean, from the express. We've seen Harillo from the Astral Express. Now that you finally have a starting point, what should be your next move? Concentrate your thoughts, fine tune your vision. Evict all distractions and seek the truth with your own eyes. North, east, southwest. You must decide on the next trailblazing direction. Let's go west. You look to the west and you see a great ocean that is yet to be permanently encased by ice, by the eternal freeze. 
Your right cerebral hemisphere is now running at full speed, conjuring up a vision where you can seem to catch the sight of the blue ocean with vessels of every ship sailing in its dazzling waves. Go further west. The furthest west is an endless, o endless ocean. It's not known how long it took the inhabitants of this world to discover that their home is situated on a globe. Perhaps you could change directions and explore again. All right, let's go northwest. Scattered in the ocean are a few unnamed isles. Perhaps there are journals left behind by drifters documenting their survival on those isolated islands. Perhaps you should change direction and explore again. What's southwest? You look up to the southwest of the ocean. You look, wait, you look to up. I was like, wait, you don't look up. You look down. <laughs> You go to the southwest of the ocean and spot a colossal black circle. It once represented death and terror, a vortex engulfing all ships and lives. Truly fascinating. Perhaps you should change direction and explore again. Now let's go back to Bellabog and go east. You look to the east and see a vast inland plain that is partitioned into dozens of subdivisions by the labyrinthine web of borders. Each subdivision could be a city or even a whole country. Your right cerebral hemisphere is now running at full speed, conjuring with vision where you see the orderly lined arrays of Geomaro factories, merchants coming from various worlds, and tourists lingering in the city streets while sharing fascinating tales about their travel. <laughs> where to go next? Further east! Situated at the furthest east of the inland plain are some tiny settlements with names that are hard to pronounce. Other than this, you fail to discover anything noteworthy. Perhaps you should change direction and explore again. Northeast! What can be found in the northeast are nothing but barren lands. Perhaps those lands are just too desolate to be inhabitable. Whatever the case may be, the secrets remain deeply buried in history. Perhaps you should change direction and explore again. Laying in the southeast of the inland plain is a deserted realm isolated by canyons. The name is no longer legible. When the calamity fell, its people must have been devastated. Perhaps you should change direction and explore again. Back to Bellabog and let's go south. You look to the south and see a giant basin where the whole region is decorated by many forests, lakes, and wetlands. Your right cerebral hemisphere is now running at full speed, conjuring up a vision where you seem to witness nature's utmost exuberance with animals of every shape thriving in the air, on the land, and in the water. Go further south. <laughs> a greenish lake with a warm climate. Many marvelous speeches choose to reside here. The dragon flies with wings that span six feet to giant crocodiles that weigh dozens of tons and many besides up. Don't make too much of it. Perhaps you should just change direction and explore again. It's a forest so unbelievably large that it could almost catch, match the size of an ocean. There must have been great many soldiers of the Antimatter Legion who got lost in it. Perhaps you should change direction and explore again. What's in the southeast? All right, a desert very close to the lakes and forest. Perhaps, or what a particular, peculiar landscape. There are a few named cities scattered in the desert. What sustains them must have been trade fueled by the rich geomero resources found underground. Perhaps you should change direction and explore again. Back to Bellabog and finally to the north. You look to the north and see stunning high mountain ranges that extend all the way to the world's end. Your right cerebral hemisphere is now running at full speed, conjuring up a vision where you seem to catch a glimpse of a cloud-piercing summits and a breathtaking view on top of a mountain ridge that yet has been yet to be covered by snow. Go further north. North of the northern mountains is a summit called something I can definitely not pronounce. The name of which you've already given up trying to pronounce! Hey! <laughs> that is undubitably Harilo's highest point. Perhaps you should change direction and explore again. What's northwest? Northwest, wait a minute, this is... Your eye is set upon a land surrounded by mountain ranges that might be typical marshland or perhaps some peculiar landscape exclusive to Harilo. 
but what makes no difference of the way. All right. I was like, thought that was going to get exciting, but it got, it kind of let me down. Perhaps the only meaningful aspect is how that piece of land on the armillary sphere is shaped exactly like Conductor Pom Pom. You can't help but think it might be a commemorative stamp left by Akavili, the Trailblaze, when he last paid a visit to this planet. What a fascinating discovery. Look, there are jewels of wonder, even in a seemingly dull discipline like geography. Aww! Oh, sweet pom-pom of mine! That's the real- <laughs> Okay, that was brilliant. Sweet pom pom of mine. Try to give the Harillo Armillary Sphere a spin to find, um, pom pom on it. It just took the whole time of me choosing all the wrong things to find it. It's logical, right? Oh, and sorry, Branya, for rummaging through your desk. <laughs> this game is great. <laughs>